welcome back everybody another weekend is on us uh, this last week just flew by so it's good to get out and take a ride it's been in the 90s all week and uh, I wanted to get out a little bit earlier this morning but I was helping uh, my wife's friend I can call her our friend but uh really good friends with my wife she's trying to sell a house here in town so uh, we're helping her get it ready uh, to go on the market this uh, this next week so it's already 90 degrees and uh, I don't even know what time it is maybe 1 1 30 yeah about 1 30 feels amazing out once that sun gets behind some clouds but once that sun comes back out it's pretty hot I thought uh I thought I did a decent job uh, taking care of myself in the heat you know it gets in the 90s in the summer in Ohio so I mean it's not like uh, crazy hot but it, it, it's not cool either I mean it, it gets hot um, a lot of humidity and I always thought I took care of myself you know drink plenty of fluids when I'm out on rides stop plenty of times you know just like today I'm just going out for a little ride I have two bottles of water So last year, uh, I figured last year was probably going to be the only year I'm, I'm going to be able to do it. It just worked out. Um, my son, he's 20, just moved out. He was still living with us at the house. Uh, his girlfriend was coming to Florida with us. We always go to St. Augustine. Not always, but we try to get down there once a year. So last year it just worked out where the sun was coming and you know I trusted him driving and the wife took a, a couple long trips to uh, I think she went to Fort Leonard Wood twice that's where my son-in-law was based and at the time just uh, daughter's boy my daughter's boyfriend so I, uh, I felt confident you know she could do half the trip no problem So that, uh, that freed me up then to where I could take the spider down. You know, and it, it, it gets hot in Ohio, and I've been to Florida many times, never on the spider. So, uh, you know, we packed the van up just like normal and uh, packed the spider up just like I was going on a trip uh, packed plenty of things packed my rain gear and uh, a few days worth of clothes you know just in case something happened and uh, you know I always I always overpack I don't know why um, I guess I just wouldn't be prepared and uh, off we set out and uh, We dealt with a, a lot of rain at first through uh, through West Virginia, through the mountains of West Virginia. Just downpours. This person's going to stop a couple times at this stop sign. There we go. Two times stopping. That's pretty good. You know, and everything was going really good until I got to the Charlotte area. And I will tell you what, there is a difference 
between the ride and 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 the temperature was about the same I mean it it was right around 90 degrees and 90 percent humidity but there was a big difference from uh, Ohio to Charlotte because that was our that's our halfway point and then from Charlotte to Florida I tried to because uh, it's about 900 miles and uh, we did 440 the first day and that's 440 the next day you know so we did a great job splitting it up and I was gonna try to do about 80 miles and then get off the spider because um, that would be a break and then the next break I'd get gas and it was crazy hard to do 80 miles I don't know if it's because uh, the angle of the Sun or if the humidity was just a little bit uh, a little bit higher but it, it took all I could do that next day to do that 400 miles So uh, that is what I learned. I learned I could not get enough fluids. And I was drinking water and Gatorade and water. And I stopped and uh, stopped at a Wendy's or a McDonald's. I think it was a Wendy's. And I, I wasn't that hungry, but I knew I had to get something to eat. So I just got a, a Junior Bacon or Junior Hamburger. You know, just their small hamburgers that are like a dollar, a dollar thirty. And uh, got a small drink, and they had Gatorade or Powerade or whatever they sell. And uh, that half hour, 45 minutes that I was trying to cool off in the Wendy's, I probably had four or five Gatorades, and I was still dehydrated. And that's not counting the, the water on top of that. So I have a, a new respect for the people that uh, ride down south. Yeah, I'll go straight. Marietta Road's a, a cool road. I'll have to I'll have to do that one uh, here pretty soon. Uh, too bad this whole ride can't be like what's under here. This is going to be nice and cool. Maybe. Maybe it's going to be nice and cool. No, well, maybe not. The sun's still coming through pretty pretty good. So there we go. I think this is the end of it. So that's the end of 668. If I go that way, it's 312. It takes me back home. It's it's literally two or three miles down the road. It takes me to a small town of Bremen. Up, oh, should have went. Uh, we'll head up this way, and then uh, we'll take a head over into Nelsonville. They just repaved this road, uh, I do believe it was last year. So it's in excellent shape. And then uh, this is 93 and I'm heading north. And I'm just north of Logan, Ohio. So I think that's going to be the ride today. Uh, I'm going to head down into Nelsonville and I'm going to find 33 and uh, head on back home. I'm getting a little on the hot side. 
and then uh, that way I can get some stuff uh, done for dinner tonight so when the, the ladies get home from working on the house they can uh, they can kick back or re relax a little bit um, the rest of this road heading down into Nelsonville is gonna look just like this so uh, everybody uh, stay safe thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I'll get this video up in just a couple days Everyone have a great day.